I have three different roles in the hospital. On the first part, uh, I'm an anesthesiologist and I take care of patients when they're undergoing surgery. And my second role, I'm the medical director here in the trauma and neurosurgical ICU, where I take care of patients after they've had a major neurosurgical or traumatic event. And in the third component, uh, I work with the planning department on St. Michael's 3.0. I have an interest in how process, people, and the built environment come together. And within St. Michael's 3.0, I can work on specifically integrating the best information we have so that we design the best space for future patient care, integrating all three of those components. And one good example is the intensive care unit where we are right now. Uh, we know that the patients are at their most vulnerable when they're in the ICU and their families care deeply for them and want to be at their bedside. And we know there are interventions that we can do to help patients, one of which is actually to provide them with their family at their bedside. Now previously it's been difficult to integrate families at the bedside because we had this clash of technology and caregivers and family all within a very circumscribed area. Now with St. Michael's 3.0 we have the opportunity to develop the environment and provide some logical groupings so that clusters of activities can happen in parallel without being each other's way. So the family, the patient, and the caregiver all have their space and can work alongside each other without ever tripping each other up. In the ICU, I think the biggest change will be integration of technology at the bedside so that uh, technology is no longer something that you must leave your bedside to access or leave your patient care to access. It's going to be something that's at your fingertips and that's one of the challenges we had difficulty resolving in past decades where large technology solution could not be brought close to patient care and in this case we can actually bring it right where it needs to be which is uh, characterized by a high care, high touch, high tech environment. I think one of the ways it will affect community is with the sense of identity. Uh, so uh, we've often heard that we have many back doors but no front door so this will really give a sense of presence for St. Michael's to serve who we serve best and uh, think about who we serve, the, um, the disadvantaged population, uh, patients in need of critical care medicine uh, and patients with complex or specialized disease. So if we define our, our community that way, I think they too will be better served, uh, even from a, a visual identity perspective and also from uh, facilitating the environment that delivers the best care to those people.